Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and today we are doing another M Scrap Busters and that is a challenge that I put up every week to help you get rid of some of those scraps that you have laying around and put them to good use and maybe you won't just throw out everything. Um, now, my rule of thumb for scraps, if it's sm smaller, skinnier than my pinky finger, it goes in the trash can. Um, anything else, a little wider, um, little cutoffs, things like this goes in my uh, scrap bowl over here to my right and um, I reach for them every week and make things for you. I've had people ask um, even with you doing your M scrap busters I bet your scrap pile is still as big as it always was. Well you know I make journals for a living. Uh, part of my living um, is paid for with the journals that I make so I make lots more paper crafting projects than most do so of course yes I do have scraps all the time now we are going to make some um, journal tabs uh, the things that we put on the edges of the page you know those things I like to stick out of the edges of my journal we're going to make some journal tabs today and we're going to make vintage ones even with bright papers so this is some paper that I started with it's old um oh what was that um brand of this what was it stamp it up old stamp it up paper it's cardstock light cardstock weight very orange very modern very bright and we have made this into this so we have dulled up that bright paper and we have made some nice little vintage looking kind of grungy looking tabs to go on the edges of our journal pages. Now the backs are still bright but they will be covered up and glued down so you don't have to worry about the back but that's what we are doing today and no worries if you do not have a handy dandy tab punch like I have and we sell these in our shop at scrapbookingwithme.com if you don't have a handy dandy tab punch like this or the whale tail like this then that is perfectly fine. I have a video just for people that do not have any tab punches and want to make tabs for their journals and I will try to remember to leave a link card around here so you can click on that and go watch that video if you want to before we start um, making the rest of these. But if you have punches it makes it a hundred times faster but you can always go and watch that handmade tab um, video that I made make a bunch of them then come back here and see how we vintage and grunge them up okay so this was my first attempt just seeing how it looked and I loved it what I am using is of course inks and I have the oxide inks from Tim Holtz up here I have a Tim Holtz um, template uh, for embossing and this is the um, Gothic layering stencil from Tim Holtz. It came in one of the e-club kits or AJ kits. AJ kit. Um, I have some stamps. It's just for the numbers really and maybe I'll do a couple of words like today or something like that. I have a nondescript stamp. You really can't tell what it says, but it will add some vintage feel to it. And then I also have some Nouveau Drops, and these came in the last eclub kit, the March eclub kit that I just demonstrated the other day and showed you how to make a flip-flap folio from that and I have these if you have stickles or any kind of anything like that you can use that and I have my handy dandy acrylic brayer and this I got from Amazon I have the link in um, my description box below my Amazon storefront is always linked down there so other than scrap paper or cardstock that's about all you need um, I have some bright 
let's see we have this that's not bright bright but we can use that and then I have some bright I thought pink cardstock oh I sure do look at there bright pink cardstock that I probably wouldn't use as is in a journal but if I make some tabs out of it I could totally use that so I'm going to use my well tail punch to punch me some tabs out of here so I'll do all well tail on this pink and then I'll do my other tab punch on the green paper that I got out all right now my rule of thumb you know what I'm not keeping that little strip it's going in the garbage so that's some paper out of my way and then this is the EK success tab punch that we carry in the shop I wish I so wish that stamp it up would come back out with this well tail punch because um, everywhere I have looked for it it is outrageously expensive there is a UK brand uh, company that has one um, and I'm assuming that it's pretty much the same specification sizes and stuff as the um, Stamp It Up one, but they will not wholesale to us so that we can carry it and they will not give us a um, shipping discount if we order in bulk. So can't do that either. So a lot of people that I know that like that well tail punch look, they are um, buying a digital template online. And you know, you can print on um, pattern paper and get that done, get that accomplished that way. If you don't have a punch, I had just enough of that green paper, oh barely, <laughs> to make a well tail. It's a little bit slimmer than my other EK Success Punch. Then what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to stick with my gothic template, I'm not, or stencil, I'm not going to go anywhere else and do anything else. So I'm going to do that and that and just line up a few just like that so the stencil is still covering all of it I'm getting my Tim Holtz Scorch Timber the brand new color that he's come out with I'm getting that and going over most of it it does not matter to me if I cover every little corner of every punch piece I just want that to be the main area of it. Whatever stencil you have, go for it. Use that. You don't have to use exactly what I'm using. And then my Forest Moss Oxide Ink. And I'm going to do just a little number. I think that, yep, yeah, it's an eight. Just doing a little number, kind of abstract where the ink did not go and then I think I will put I'm going to stamp create on a couple of them and I think I will use what is this it's so dark I can't even tell vintage photo that's the one I have used the most of vintage photo and get that create and then you have to think about which side's going to be your front side and which way you need to stamp it oh yeah cute I think it'll show up a little better maybe here it did just a little bit it doesn't matter you could always go with black so it would show up a little bit more um, then you can get and I do think I want to get my black soot and do 
a little bit with this script stamp. Get some stuff out of the way. I have been gone um, for quite a few days. We had a long ministry conference. And then Bethany and I, with more ladies of our family, went on a girls trip to the beach. Very first one we have ever done. Um, that was very fun. Even though the weather did not cooperate with us. It rained two out of three days that we were there. <laughs> uh, so we had to deal with that. But, I mean, we went out to eat and we went shopping and did some um, sightseeing. We went to the Pensacola Lighthouse and Museum and then the Naval Museum that's on actually on the Naval Base. You have to show your ID and they question you and all that stuff just to get on the Naval Base. But it was, I mean, it was so neat. Little, little scary for our younger people, younger girls in the vehicle um, when they were being questioned about stuff. You don't have to get out of your car or anything, but you know, it is military base and they have to be very, very cautious about who comes on base anyway it was really fun but yeah that um second day we got to get out and of course with it being march it wasn't as warm as i'm used to it being at the beach but i was good with that i didn't have to worry about sunscreen we didn't stay out because i mean the sun was like behind the clouds the whole time <laughs> there was maybe about four hours that the sun actually came out behind the clouds and um, even then we had hats and stuff on and um, like I said it was cool so I even had jeans and a jacket on <laughs> uh, so it was it was fun but I think I would rather go to the beach um, May or September ish um, not the biggest fan of the beach during the summer because you cannot go anywhere do anything um, it's shoulder to shoulder everywhere you go even the beach is overly crowded but the beach was not crowded at all even with it being some school spring break so that was nice very nice now I have an old book page that's got all kinds of coloring and sampling and all that kind of stuff on it and that's what I've got back behind this so when I stencil or stamp it just goes onto this book page so this is what we have made and then when we fold it over so we've got a nice little vintage look at there nice little vintage tab and this just shows you what we started with and then what we ended with. So it's a nice little way to make some tabs. And if you're not into vintage, kudos. That's fun. That's fine. That's good. Wonderful. You can just stamp and you don't have to ink or grunge or anything, any of your papers. And you can just use them as is. So that's fine. But... I like the vintage look so I went with that so all I'm doing again lining up my tab pieces okay and then I'm gonna do I think I'll do the black soot on top of this instead of the scorched timber get me a little different look And this is all just on some pink cardstock I had left over from some project. I like that. I think I will use this grid stamp. This is from a company that has since went out of business. Um, Felicity Jane is was the name of that one. So, sorry if you don't have that one. You can use whatever stamp set you have. You don't have to use the same stuff I use. 
So a little bit of grid. Oh, I really like that. This is the Hickory Smoke Oxide Ink. Aaron Jonas, is that a soda you got? <laughs> <laughs> Gracious. He's just finished his lunch, and he's got his giggle box turned upside down. All right, so there is that. And I think in maybe the Scorched Timber, I will do one of these little words. Let's take Create Off and use another word. I have all kinds of stamps, so I could have got anything. Documented by, oh, I like that. Let's do that on all three of these. Maybe, could we? I think so. Let's get the little eight off. I'm sure that that was meant for, that uh, stamp set was meant for a planner, because that was pretty much what that company was. Now she did do scrapbooking kits and stuff too. But let's see. If we're gonna fold it, it'll be like that. that that's right. Documented by. And you can't read all of it, and I'm fine with that. It looks aged and weathered and worn by the time we get done inking the edges of it, so it's fine. And I think I will ink with the scorch timber. I love how that looks. And if you have room um, and all of it didn't get covered like you wanted it to, you could always add uh, a little bit of scrap paper of some kind or a tiny little die cut. I have those, I think, I have those Curator, Tim Holtz Curator die cuts that I might could add a little bitty something. Let me see if I can find them. Here they are. Yes, we carry these in the shop. Tim Holtz Curator Ephemera Pack. Excuse the crinkling. I like this. So if we were to fold that in half, you need that upside down looking away from you. So there's one. I see two more that are tiny enough for these tabs. There's one, and then I like that dark green one. Let's go with that. See, these are tiny, tiny. Wonderful for tabs. Oh, I like that. I think I will ink around these with some vintage photo. While we were going to the beach, I had some nails to break, and I have not let Bethany shape the rest of my nails and cut the rest of my nails down to match everything. So, y'all are seeing me fresh from <laughs> ministry trip and vacation. Oh well. Just how it goes. Brandon and Aaron stayed here, and... Of course, dog sat, and um, they did a little, you know, in between working at the shop while we were gone, they did a little bit of eating out, just the guys, and they had planned on going golfing with Brandon's younger brother, and just didn't get around to it. We were only gone three days, and we had just got home from a three-day gospel conference, so... And I was like, I was good. I was good just to work and take him out to eat and then come home. <laughs> and I don't blame him at all. All right. So then we've got documented by on here and we've got a little die cut. So when we fold it in half and we would put this on the edge of a journal page. Let me get my idea journal to show you. All right, we'll add that there. We'd have documented by on that side and on this side. Oh, that matches that really well. We'd have that little um, die cut and you can read it easily that way. 
I love these and I was needing more tabs um, when I'm making journals and I have to stop because I don't have tags or journal cards or tabs already made it kind of makes me ill <laughs> I'm all about instant gratification when it comes to decorating my journal and going ahead and just reaching for what I've already got made love that so what I'm going to do is have a little container that I'm going to put all of these in so that way I'll know this is my tab container and you can reach in here at any time and get a tab so I've got this little Ziploc container that was already there was one in there um, maybe I've got a couple more in there yes I had a few skinny or tiny tabs these are very tiny little tabs and then I had these little skinny ones. I have a die cut somewhere that makes these kind. So when you, this is kind of more of a tag topper. So you would make a tag like so and then place that on top so it's like a little clipboard topper. So I had some of those and those will stay down in there. And then this one that I had not done anything to, I just love that paper. That was some of that um, Blue Fawn, is that the name of it, that company? That paper that I had left, it was probably the only piece I had left. And then I will put my tabs that I make today in here. And that is my crafty storage. I will put these over here. Oh, yes. And it's still March, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I have reached over 30,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank y'all so much for your support. And um, for my paying members, thank you so much. Your monthly contribution helps Mom and I so much to get more content out to you. We appreciate you. So that is the little bucket I'm going to be putting the rest of my tabs in. So that one, very pretty. I don't think I will do much to this one because it's got the nice little butterfly on it. I think what I'll do is trim there and maybe stamp a little bit on it and trim that. Then I'm going to cut this and then see if I can get that butterfly in the bottom, pretty much the bottom segment. And I might do it this way. I think the, oh yeah, I think the Well tail works just a little bit better for that. And can I get one more out of this? Tiny little bitty. Look at there. I sure did. Okay, now this one. Beautiful. And when I fold it in half, I'm going to have a beautiful little butterfly on the edge. So all I will do to that one is scorched timber around the edges and into my container. Purple cardstock left over in my scrap pile. Get a tab made for that. Some plain kind of stone look cardstock that I want to do some extra something to. One piece of craft, another piece of craft, and some more of that stone. Since I make vintage journals, I have a lot of vintage scraps still. But let's find some brighter colors. 
Wowzers. That's some bright colors. So I have this bright orange that is just right width-wise for my whale tail punch. And then this that has been in my scrap box. I have a scrap bowl that has the smaller scraps. And then I have a huge scrap box that has larger pieces of scrap in it. And I've had this one forever. This is something that I used on my Cricut, as you can tell. So today is the day that we are going to use it up and make tabs from it. I think I can get one more there. And that is used up. And now this bright pink. This is a very pretty color. It's textured on one side. Let's see if I can get... Oh yeah. Lots of whale tails out of this one. This is another way to beautifully mass make some things that um, would be readily available for your journals. Now, for this one, I'm wanting to decorate on the textured side of that pink. So I'll line up some of these. Get them as close to each other as you would like. Just probably don't want to overlap them because then you're going to get an absence of stencil color. And I think I'm going to go with the forest moss. For this one, let's take off that sponge and it's brittle so we'll do a new one when I go to use gathered twigs again. Here's forest moss. And I'm just holding down my stencil and going across all of them and whether it gets every little piece of it, it does not matter to me. You can pat, pat, pat or you can swirl like I am. Okay. I think that green's gonna, yep, look very pretty on that. And I think I will use the black soot and use the grid stamp again. So if you've got some really nice abstract kind of stamps in your collection, that would work very well with this project. If you've got Ooh, some postage. We need to use, try to do that next. Oh, Lila has decided to bring her toy in here. Growl at it. There's that. And then I've got a little postage stamp somewhere here. We go. Let's use Scorch Timber. We're just stamping on the edge. that canceled postage. These are stamps that I think I got from not Timu, but I know that they have them. Um, it's that company with a K that I have shown on here before. It's a foreign name, I can't remember it, sorry. But anyway, I have used that before. I think I'll do documented by in the green on a couple of these just to have some wording somewhere. Cool. All right, then I will ink, just go ahead and ink around all of the edges with the scorched timber if I can pick them up. 
but yes, beautiful mass make, easy to do, especially if you have the punch, but like I said earlier, go to my video that I did that there are no punches needed to make tabs, very easy to make tabs, and then once you get them made, you can decorate them up, just make them out of regular old cardstock. Plain, solid cardstock. Then ink the edges and decorate as you would like. But I love getting um, bright colors that I used years and years ago with scrapbooking and just have not touched since and making it nice and vintage. And I will of course have you a picture still shot at the end so you can see all of these nice up close and personal um we could even put some washi tape on these if we wanted to this is some newsprint washi tape i love this stuff so pretty just a little piece of it we like that let's do that on all of these Some wording so instead of a die cut we're just putting some vintage looking washi tape on these I'll cover up some of that grid that way then you've got all of them at hand if you want to store them like I have in a little container and you could even make a um, label for the outside that says tab so that way if you've got several containers you know which one you're needing just at a glance I like that I really like that so fold these over and you've got a little bit of the washi showing on the one side more of the washi showing on the other side very pretty I love those and sometime during the spring I am sure I will use and need some hot pink but I mean even if you don't and you still don't like how much pink is showing get some of that black soot and go over it Get it a little darker, get a little more, get a little more grunge going to it, see? Very easy to disguise that bright cardstock and make it what you would like. So I know some of you watched mom's video <clears throat> from the uh, Rachel and Bella collaboration that's going on right now. And since I have been out of town, I hadn't had the chance to watch all of the creator's videos so far. But I will be creating on April 1st. So be watching for that. We always love Rachel and Bella's collaborations. They give away all kinds of great prizes at the end of the um, YouTube hop too. So be sure to watch all the, uh, all the videos subscribe to all of the creators thumbs up the videos and leave a comment and Rach and Bella go through every one of those videos and um, they make sure of you know who did all that <laughs> and your name gets put into a drawing for the um, giveaways at the end of the YouTube hop and I'm wanting to say it started on March 15th and it goes through April 15th or 14th or something like that. A month long. Anyways, I have April 1st. I knew all of this was coming up and I was like, oh, Rach, if I could get an April date, that would be phenomenal because I'm going to be out of town a lot in March. And so she gave me April 1st. I want to go ahead and get these embossed or 
stenciled or whatever. Line four up in a row and you can get them all covered. And I really like that scorched timber on these. The black is a little too dark, but the scorched timber is just right. It's like a cool brown where a lot of Tim Holtz browns are warm browns that have orange or red undertones. This one has a green black undertone. Let's see how those look. Gorgeous. So pretty. See, I love those as is. Let's just do some ink around the edges. You don't have to do any kind of stamping. For those that may not have any stamps whatsoever in their stash, I would highly recommend getting stamps <laughs> because they're so versatile. You can use them in so many different ways. But for anybody that does not have stamps in their stash, um, and maybe you just have a rogue stencil lying around somewhere, this is a great way to use that. And then you would just ink around the edges after you get done with this. And you've got some ready-made vintage grungy tabs to go in your journals, on your journal pages. I just love tabs. I love how they stick out. I love putting little um, phrase stickers or number labels on them and putting them on the edge of my page and them sticking out of the edge of the journal. It just completes the journal, in my opinion. And I love this gothic stencil. That is so pretty and changes the look so much of this cardstock. What is everybody's plans for Easter? We are, of course, going to our church service, um, but we are eating. Those kind of look Halloweeny. <laughs> we are eating um, with mom on Saturday afternoon because um, Alicia and her family always eat lunch with her husband's parents on Easter at their home. So, you know, by the time dinner time rolls around, they're not hungry. So, we usually do that on Easter and Thanksgiving. We eat the night before Thanksgiving. We eat the night before or the day before Easter just so that we get plenty of time with mom and so that we're hungry when we're eating with mom. Um, we used to when our kids were little we did it did not matter we went to mom and dad's on uh, Thanksgiving evening ate lunch with Brandon's parents and grandparents and everything um, Thanksgiving at lunch and by the time we got to mom and dad's house we were not hungry whatsoever and my, my dad would he was the cook he did all the cooking most of the time and he was excellent at it and he would be so disappointed especially if he smoked um, meat on his smoker uh, we would get there and we wouldn't eat because we were so full he'd be like now this has got to change we got to do something different so that's when we started eating the day before with him just so that we could have some good eating time with our parents so we've worked out that system and I know everybody has to work out their own holiday schedule with family. I'm getting the last ones, last pieces that I've gotten punched out using that scorched timber. On those so pretty it's kind of tiger looking that's it's giving me those those vibes but yeah the purple one and the orange one 
kind of <laughs> remind me of Halloween colors. That's okay, too. And I think, let's go with some forest moss around the edges. And also, I took up that paper, but my Nuvo Drops, I'd mentioned that in the very beginning, hadn't even showed you how I used it on those first two. Nuvo Drop right in the middle, and then my acrylic brayer, just right across it. And it kind of mutes that just a little bit and gives it just a little bit of a shine. Once it dries, it's not that shiny at all. I want to see how it looks because that's green Nuvo Drops. I want to see how it looks on some orange. And let's do it on some of the pink also. I do not use a brayer that much, but I saw a creator, and I don't even know who it was now. I saw a YouTube creator, and she had this acrylic one, and I thought, ooh, I like that. Let's use that. Let's get that. Oh, I like that because it goes across all that texture that's on the pink cardstock so that's very cute um, with the squeaking this the squeaking sound this is making I am shocked that Lila is not in here investigating for anyone that does not know Lila is our three and a half pound Yorkie it's a little bit more on that one and then the forest moss ink around the edges since that's green there and then putting green on the outside edges and then having that scorched timber on the inside very pretty I'll have to let this sit on the side so that that the Nuvo drops can dry I love the look of that so anyway let me know what your holiday plans are. We took that trip to the beach knowing that it was probably spring break for some, but maybe it was close enough to Easter that there wouldn't be that many people there, and we were right. It wasn't too bad. Now the souvenir shops and stuff, that, that got a little shoulder to shoulder just because we had such bad weather, you know. People are like, well, I can't get out on the beach. And it was, oh, I forgot to say, it was double red flags the entire time we were there. So, you know, it was, uh, it's pretty much illegal to get in the Gulf waters when they have the double red flags up. Now the girls did just go and get their feet wet and looked for seashells and things like that, but never got their body into the water fully. Which I'm not even a big fan of getting in the ocean when it's not double red flags. <laughs> uh, I am silly. I, I don't like getting in water that I cannot see the bottom of. I've had some Mm, unfortunate experiences in my life as far as uh, lake water and ocean so um, I just I really don't even get <laughs> in the ocean even when it's calm so let's do maybe this little green that's cute that's mom's initials EW that is very cute. I think I will put that on this end. Ink around it. Y'all notice I have barely used glue in this project. EW. Right there. And then when you fold this up, got that nice little die cut there beautiful template on the back 
and these are so pretty I'm gonna put go ahead and put them in there when I go to use them in a journal I might want to stamp a little bit more um, you know I don't know y'all can see this is drying nicely we've got just a little bit of a shimmer on those it just kind of grunges them up a little bit more it kind of looks like a thumbprint that you've put on there I think I might get another number and I didn't even put the eight back there it is and go into my black soot and let's go with the number 10 or 10 as you're supposed to say but here in Alabama we say <laughs> oh man and I'm gonna go right over the nouveau and just put down in a corner or right in the middle wherever you would like so we need to let that dry and then I think I will also, and you know, here I am saying that that was fine, perfect, didn't need anything else, and I'm about to do the script stamp. You know, and I already put up my paper that I was catching all of my stamping on. Of course, I could get that out again if I wanted to, but I don't want to. just to get a little bit more going on that very pretty and then when we fold it in half we've got that nice little tin showing with some shimmer of the Nouveau drops and oh my goodness look at my fingers beautiful I love these so I won't put any more in there I'm going to show you how many we've gotten done lots it has been a lot that we got done Got all of them from today. One more. Two more. Three more. There we go. Look at all these. I still need to ink the edges of those. But these turned out so pretty. I love the little die cuts on them. I love just stenciling and then um, inking around the edges. So cute lay all these out so you can see them and now I have ready-made tabs just perfect to put in my journals and it's an easy easy mass make y'all see how quickly that went and if you're not talking the whole time and telling about life stories then you can get a lot more done than I even got done but thank y'all so much for sticking around and watching this M Scrapbusters challenge video this week y'all have a great weekend God bless I'll see you in the next video y'all are my people and I love ya bye y'all <laughs>